I'm just gonna today's story is called Jack and the Extreme Stock. Have you heard of <gasps> this story before? Stalking. Stalking? Not quite. That is our first word. Stock. Do you know what a stock is? Jack and the beanstalk. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Damn it. Oops. Ah oh, man, I was trying to keep it a secret, but like, I guess you can't really go too far. With that, you know? Okay, so obviously the stalk is like the stem area where where the leaves and the beautiful flowers or fruits and lots and other stuff grow. Do you grow plants? Yes, I do in my front yard in the oh. small smallest tiny garden. Oh, what do you grow? Uh, I have more stuff in my backyard. Oh, uh, like food? You do you grow like tomatoes? Grows, oh, tomatoes! Oh, my dad grows winter tomatoes. Green pepper. Whoa! Such a green thumb. I can I can't even grow a bean. I tried and hard. They like, try to make it a little more interesting with a different yeah, title, we but left. Oh no! Okay, we'll just read a little bit today and we'll read the rest or like some more on Friday. I just need to know if I can like keep you at this level or make it harder. <laughs> okay, so we'll, let's just do number one. You know the, the story, I'm sure. Experiment with beans. There once was a boy named Jack who lived with his mother in a small cottage in the country. They didn't have much money, but they lived a happily simple, li happy, simple life. One day, Jack's mother said, Jack, it's your birthday soon, and I would like you to buy something special. She put a small pile of coins in, into Jack's, Jack's hand. Is it too small? Do I need to make it bigger? Oops, it won't fit on the screen. Too big. Too oh, big. Too big. Too big. Too Is big. This better? Too big. It goes back. Okay, there. Jack knew that his mother must have saved for a long time to be able to give him this money. He set up for market determined to buy something special for them both, for both of them. Oh, very good. Too good. So this word is actually determined. Have we determined. Seen? Yeah. Well, have you been determined to do something before? Uh, what does determined mean again? It means you are very persistent. Like you really want to do something and you just focus on it and you keep trying until you succeed. Uh, like you're like, I, I need to do this. Like, I don't really do that. Oh, really? I gave, never counted I gave classes like a year ago, a year or two. Oh, what, what classes? Piano class. Oh, piano classes. And you didn't I like it? I stopped on level four. Oh, so you were not determined to succeed. <laughs> I didn't want to succeed. My mom, my mom baited me to do it. Oh, like every other Asian parent out there. <laughs> it's usually and piano or violin. Play the piano. I don't want to do it. Uh, well, oh, oh, like, why can't we just make make it like COVID free and then sell it? Ooh, I think it's more for your intellectual growth. I don't want to play the piano every day and do two books filled. Oh. So first thing off, first off, I have to play the piano, and in the mornings I have to read a multiplication chart. Multiplication. Multi oh. Multiplication chart. Oh. There, are, I have to do one book ma with math, six pages of math for each day. And I have to do one page of English each day. Oh. Then I, have literally, I have to literally review conjugations my French teacher gave me. I think the hardest part of that schedule is probably the French conjugations. I hate those. <gasps> I, I had to do them during. Ironic ways. 
just and they're supposed to be on one of my tests. Oh, I see. Okay, so um, do you remember the be original beginning of Jack and the Beanstalk? I don't remember the original beginning. Is it this one where like the mom gives him money to go buy beans? Then like he plants it, then he grows a beanstalk. Yeah, that's that's basically it. Okay, we'll read this last chunk and then we have and three minutes. It's okay. We'll read this last chunk. At the market, Jack saw a man who was selling beans. Jack wondered whether he should buy some beans. He needed to be sure that the beans would, would all sprout and then grow strong and tall. Jack decided to brainstorm some ideas. As he was thinking, Jack noticed that the man was selling bags of fertilizer too. This gave him an idea. Fertilizer would help the beans to grow. Yes. Go away, Bill. Oh, is that your younger brother? <laughs> what? How would you describe Jack? He looks. He looks skinny, he looks short, he looks ugly, he has issues buying beans. How would you describe Jack? Weird, awkward. Weird, awkward. Would you think he was curious or inventive like we were like talking about earlier? Curious. Would you be like no, Jack? No more minutes, what uh, can we do? It's okay. We'll just talk about it. <laughs> so, if you were buying beans, would you buy a lot of fertilizer for your beans and just like use it as a science experiment? Hell no. Why not? You we do don't. Like we don't waste stuff for just experiments. Really? That's how I did my grade three bean assignment, where I figured out I couldn't grow anything. We used beans, but my bean didn't grow. Maybe it's because I didn't give it fertilizer. <laughs> I was very sad. So he's making his plan. What do you think he's going to do with the fertilizer? He's going to buy the beans, and then he's going to put the fertilizer on the beans. Then it's going to grow into a huge bean stuff. Which, okay, I guess so. Which fertilizer do you think is going to work the best? I'm guessing there's like more than one. There's like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, green. Probably green. Like this, right? Ooh, so which uh, fertilizer worked the best? Uh, that one. The last one, right? A, B, and C. Man, he's a real scientist. He has a control here, too. Oh, wow. He's so... I think he's very smart. He was able to figure out... Right? Don't you feel he's smart? 